Good morning, everyone. I'm Vaishali Udapa, the Commissioner for Patents here at the USPTO. I am so happy to welcome you all to the 17th Annual Design Day. First, I want to welcome and thank all the design patent examiners and design SPEES. I was so excited to meet many of you at Design One Million event back in November of last year. And I wanna thank you for your continued dedication to the USPTO and to your applicants. Your work means so much to me, to the agency, and also to our country. Thank you also to Karen Young for being such a talented and passionate leader of the Design Tech Center 2900. You do an incredible job overseeing the efforts of our over 300 design patent examiners and 33 managers. I'm excited to hear so many practitioners and designers traveled to our campus annually for this event. Your presence here is invaluable, and I look forward to working with you as we continue to strive for the strongest IP protection for industrial designs. And of course, thank you to our co-sponsors of Design Day 2024, both AIPLA and IPO. Thank you so much for your unwavering support of this event year after year. When I was asked to speak, the organizer shared that this week is Teacher Appreciation Week and that every speaker was going to share a story about their favorite teacher. I got really excited about this because I have so many great teachers that I could speak about, but the one that's closest to my heart is my mom. First, prior to coming to America, my mother was a statistics professor in India. My immense love of math comes from her. Studies show that young girls who underperform in math and science are usually around those who have a perception that women are not good in STEM. I never experienced that. I never believed a woman could not excel in math or science because I saw on a daily basis how my mother's brilliant mind worked. Whatever math class I was taking in high school, whether it was algebra, geometry, or even differential equations, if I ever got stumped, she explained those concepts so beautifully that everything always made sense. My love of math paved the way for me to pursue engineering and then IP law, and then finally end up here at the USPTO as a commissioner for patents. So thank you to all the teachers out there, but also to my mom. I mentioned being at Design One Million event. What an accomplishment. I was so happy to be at the celebration of such a historic milestone. We got to celebrate both of the examiners who worked on the application that became Design Patent One Million. The junior examiner on the case, Margaret Bryan, is a relatively new examiner. And the primary examiner was Karen Eldridge Powers, who's one of the most experienced examiners with over 17 years of service at the USPTO. Together, these two examiners collaborated to examine and issue this momentous patent. Design patents have been around for a long time here in the US. The US government began issuing design patents in 1842 which was some 52 years after the first utility patent laws were passed in the Patent Act of 1790. That first year, only 12 design patents were filed. So by last year, 2023, when we issued the historic patent, it had taken our nation 181 years to reach 1 million design patents. Design filings have been increasing and now at the current rate of more than 35,000 new grants per year, it will only take 28 years to add another 1 million. Think of that, 181 years to reach our first million compared to just 28 years to reach our next million. As you can tell from these stats, designs continue to be one of the fastest growing areas of our agency. Just over a decade ago, we had fewer than 100 design patent examiners. Today, we have more than tripled that number. And we are still growing. We plan to continue our hiring efforts to keep up with the historic rates of filing we're seeing in design. We are now receiving more than 50,000 new design patent applications per year, the most ever in our history. And that's a conservative number if we continue to see increases in filing numbers. 
Karen will get into a deeper dive of the details of the design filing and pendency statistics with you in her State of the TC presentation this morning. Design intellectual property is all around us. There are so many iconic designs where you know the brand as soon as you see the product. When I think of iconic designs, I think of the Coke bottle design. You know exactly what that product is, even without the label or any other indication. I think of shoes. I think of cars. Design intellectual property touches all the things we use in our everyday lives. And companies are realizing more and more how valuable their designs are to their IP portfolio. I especially think of the toys my two boys played with when they were younger. They love toy trucks, particularly dump trucks and garbage trucks. They also like classic toys like Slinkies and Legos, which all carry design protection. And of course, they love Star Wars toys. Many of you who were here last year at Design Day may remember Deputy Director Derek Brent's remarks on the designs for droids, stormtroopers, and of course, the beloved Yoda. Star Wars is a great example of protecting these designs. George Lucas's company, now a part of Disney, has more than 200 design patents, 1,000 trademarks, and 3,400 copyrights related to Star Wars and its franchise. We know that there is an intrinsic value in design patents, but in this one case alone, they're worth billions of dollars. IP and the protection provided by patents and trademarks is a big business, and design patents are a big part of that. Businesses are often built around individuals who come up with incredible ideas and novel designs. Designs have never gotten the limelight that they deserve, but that is changing now. Because of the growing recognition and importance of design to our nation's economy, we recently worked with Congress to approve a reorganization package that elevated the design team within our Patents BU. Doing this will bring designs out into its own lane and help strengthen our efforts in this area. We will be able to tailor tools and metrics to design examiners, and we will be able to provide additional prospects to those with a design background who were previously ineligible for certain opportunities. I'm also so excited to announce that Karen Young will be serving as the Acting Deputy Commissioner for Design Patents, and I look forward to working with her as she oversees all of the fast-moving topics in design. I am thrilled to be leading the patents organization, including designs. I continue to be impressed by all the people I have met here at the USPTO and the work that is going on here. I look forward to working with all of you as we elevate design IP to the rightful place and bring more awareness to the importance of protecting designs. And I hope you all can work in your communities to inspire our next generation of creators about the thrill of turning their creations into products that can improve the lives of millions of people. Thank you for your dedication to designers, to innovators, and to each other. And thank you for everything you do for our country.